on the pressure. I'll start off topic today then. Uh, oh. The LFC Foundation Social Impact Report is out. One of the standout figures is in the last 12 months there's been a 47% increase in the number of people supported by the foundation. So that's up from nearly 84,000 to nearly 123,000. I just wonder as well what impression has the LFC Foundation's work made on you since you've been at the football club? Since I'm here, this is the, I would say, this is the standout department of the club. It was from the first day. I We have to do a lot of stuff around football, left and right, go here, meet partners, stuff like this. That's all okay. But uh, the foundation part was always, it's uh, how, I, how I call and understand, it's a win-win situation. So we go there, meet people, meet children, parents in, in, in difficult situation or or on in good situations again and stuff like this and it's always uh feels so great and i'm really happy and i i, I, on, I told them no, only yesterday <coughs> i love them all for what they are doing it's unbelievable the job they do um and the way they do it um as well that's um, obviously liverpool is a is a real institution like and and people um love it pretty much anyway for the things we did in the past and stuff like this but that could lead to sometimes it leads to a, a little bit of ignorance like where you think okay we don't care anymore and that's the opposite um and that's really um with this club is absolutely outstanding i love it and i think i'm am i an ambassador i am yes i am so um that would have did before the same probably but it's um it's a real honor i i, I really love um helping as much as i can in that department How can I know that? So Chris, I obviously remember the way um, Sheffield United played under Chris Wilder. What was it? The overlapping wingbacks or underlapping wingbacks and stuff like this. Now it's um, as one part of it. Um, and he probably has now a press conference as well. I'm not sure. Pro yeah. So then training after that. Maybe another session tomorrow morning. Yeah. First thing, we probably can bin our analyze analysis um, and I was sitting yesterday in the office and somebody told me it might happen so obviously you or your, your employer t said already it will happen and then um, but I watched it anyway so we will see we have to come focus on ourselves we have to we have to make sure I don't think it will now change too much what can he change in that short period and we don't have to think too much about it we really should just prepare for a football game uh, we play team with um, Five in the back, five three two, five four one, um, quite frequently. To be honest, so uh, we have to make sure that we um, give them a proper job to think about. It's, I understand it's always like that. A new manager coming in, and now we start getting confused. We should um, actually we can play in different ways. And as much as I'm happy for for Chris that he's back in a job there in his club. Um, yeah, he has to think that if he thinks about us, then it must be really, oh my God, they come from everywhere. That's pretty much the thing. But um, the game will be played tomorrow, not today in the press conference. So. Let's just ask about Ian Kelleher as well, because in Europe, he looked very comfortable in his performance, and it was a bit more of a difficult afternoon on Sunday. I just wonder what adjustment he has to make and how difficult it is, because up until now this season, obviously, he's been playing one game every three weeks, maybe two games every three weeks. Best and how difficult is it going from that to playing every week? This got no, nothing. His, um, I, I really think he played a really good game. He was in, in possession. He was good, um, especially like with, the feet, with his feet. But then we can't see two goals, and one obviously Harry Wilson goal is an unlucky one. If you, as a goalie, no goalie in the world. If the ball goes through a legs, it goes through a legs. That happens. And the second one, um, our goalie coaches and Ali especially explained it to me. We are front-footed goalkeepers. They told me, um, and know that. But in this moment, Cleve steps into the situation, um, and if that I think tries to control the ball, Cleve is there, but he doesn't. He takes the first touch, and then the ball again pass him, pass him a little bit. So these kind of things happen. It has nothing to do with um, quality or whatever. It's a, it's a philosophy thing, um, and um, he could have saved that ball as well with exactly the same movement, just a little bit more luck. So just. Keep going, do the same things. We 
can expect set, good set pieces. We can expect against Sheffield. We can expect maybe a, the better we press, the more long balls they will have to play if they if they are really long and um, or, or set pieces from um, like wide free kicks. These kind of things. We need him to 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 be there offensive and uh, and, and and get out of or get off his line. Um, so that's the stuff. But besides that, absolutely fine with everything. And just following on from the weekend final for me, a late winner at Anfield, City and Spurs draw. How do you view where you were at as a group? I know it was a bit too early to talk yes. in terms of a potentially significant moment in the season's title race. Uh, this weekend, this weekend we <laughs> Yeah, we are two points behind Arsenal, by the way. But is that that it's decided or what on that oh, front? So it's just uh, like you got the late winner, no, yes, of course. course. No, our late winner is, is very was very important and um, for everything, absolutely everything. Um, uh, yeah, that's true. But um, has nothing to do with the title winning season. But if you can do that every week, it's pretty like you would win the league. You just didn't already. So we have been, we missed a few opportunities to do that. Um, yeah, but a lot of things you can take from the game, and uh, but we have to take into tomorrow and and, and 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 the spirit and stuff like this. That's really helpful. I saw. Okay, the beginning was really good, and then after we were three two down was really good. So these were the two, um, the two great moments. In between, we could have done better. So it was a long spell, um, and yeah. I I I don't think a second about. Um, where we could end up, what I said before, we have to be there where we are now until April. And then if we are still there, then we can talk about whatever is possible now. But I have no clue where we will be in April, to be honest. So because the toughest period of football, we obviously lost, we have, we, we, we played without a few players of the game already. Now we lost Joel. Um, so that's so tough. It's, it's so tough what's coming up now. So it's absolutely nothing to, to think about and to think ahead of the next game, there's no chance. Um, so focus on Sheffield United, go for it, um, play the best possible game, and keep going. Hi, Ernie. Hi. Um, just looking through suspension routes and matches, it's all clearly sprung, and even <laughs> though you've had a few injury problems of late, how, how encouraging is it to know that, depending on who plays, you've got people like Gakpo and, and Endo comes on immensely. Yeah, we start with three strikers and have one on the bench. I don't wouldn't say that's not the strongest bench in the world, but the player who can come on is a really good one. That's true. Um, same with Endo, but we had other players. Curtis out. Yes, midfield is still there are still opportunities. Last line was comfortable until last Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, so that's that's all that's all true. But um, yeah, it's just nothing. We have, to be successful, you need a strong squad. So there's no shadow of a doubt. That then you need that. That's clear. Um, and now it's not about thinking about what you have available. You have, I think, who we have available, and from there we go and use them and try to use them all and try to figure out who and when. Um, because it's now, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow night, and then it's Saturday, twelve thirty, and then I, when is it then? Thursday. Okay, that's a bit of longer break. Uh, but then from that moment on, we go again until the new year. So it's just tough. But you need a strong bench to be successful. And yes, the players were the whole season through. Players from the bench were all very, very impactful. And that's a, that just speaks of the quality for the quality of the, of the players. And, and similarly, the, the four goals, the brilliant goals that we scored <laughs> on Sunday, didn't come from the, the front three. And again, you can look and say, well, it must be great to know that you've got the capability of those goals. And Yes, yeah, somehow the goals came from the front three because we. I'm pretty sure one of the, no, it was Dom who got fouled for the Trent free kick. Then the second goal, obviously, yeah, passing patterns between, and we win the ball back, or Maka wins the ball back and shoots from there. So, but there, the, uh, and the third goal is super important because that was. Chip from Ibu, then Darwin, Hader, two more, and more with an opportunity to score his 200th goal, keeps the ball and, and puts it back to 
Vata and Hiponai shoot. So that's uh, that's super impactful from the two strikers, from two of the strikers. And the other goal is is Cody then shooting, save Darwin, cross the ball, Costa, header, bam, and then Trent is there. So we're there all in. So that's how football is. Um, I can see already that we probably try to shoot now from 40 yards and, and until we realize that's a bit far, but um, that's normal. We, we had incredible goals in that game, absolutely incredible. And yes, and it's a, a nice thing to have as it's a good thing to have great set pieces, what we will need, then scoring from distance, what we will need, scoring in the six-yard box, what we will need, all these kind of goals. They have to come from everywhere, otherwise um, we will be too, um, yeah. We will not be unpredictable, or we will be too predictable, and that's really important that we are, that we are not. So how it is? The the the, the, the periods when we talk about is always with so many games, but for all the teams are so many games. So it's who 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 is gets out that in the best possible way. And in this moment, nothing speaks against that we could be that. We just have to do it. It's just about us, but what do we have available? Is Joey there? Is Connor there? They both are there. Do one of them have to play left back because Costi cannot play all the games, and you have to see play? Yes, Trent can play midfield. We always knew that, but Trent can play the, the role. Um, we gave him now very well as well. So that's how it is. We will see. That's it. He's, he has, he is, and if you want to be good, he has to be influential from all different from all different areas because it just makes us better. If he plays a good game, but he obviously did in the last game. Um, and that's it, pretty much. I cannot. I cannot. I, I told you said that before. It's always this, this um, very unpleasant tries to create headlines. So watch the games and discuss it without my doing. I, I'm, I'm, we play him where we think it's best for him. So and then people say he has to play there, has to play there. He became one of the most successful players of, in the history of, of Liverpool FC. In the recent history, playing a right back, he became a Premier League player as a right back. So he can play more inside, definitely. So I was said he will play where, we, where it's best for us. That's just how it is. And I'm not stubborn and don't want to play him in midfield or whatever. Not at all. But I'm not part of the discussion. You can discuss, you discuss it um, as much. Really, you can discuss as much as you want. Uh, but will not we have any influence? We still have to make decisions what's best for the team. Um, and Trent sees it, by the way, exactly the same way. So um, he wants to play. And from my point of view, he has to be influential. And we have to make sure we help him with the positioning. That's it. No, I don't know the exact, but it doesn't look good. That's something we can say. I mean, the scan is not done yet, so we don't know exactly. But it's not it's not great. So it was from the first minute, the second it was clear. I spoke to him and said, uh, no, that's not good. Um, but how long? We, I don't know. He was running yesterday outside on his birthday. Um, and everything goes in the right direction. But uh, um, nobody told me he will be back in team training today. So now there's still some time. And with Ali the same, obviously Ali is closer, um, but not available for tomorrow, definitely. Yeah, of course. That's how it is. Um, but anyway, it's like the last week they would have said the same. Then it was because it was the match day 12. Or whatever, it's it's the same. Yes, I understand that. But there will there will be a lot of passion now. Chris Wilde in the dugout, and I'm um, pretty sure great reception for him. All these kind of things. But in the end, we have to play a football game. That's it. And it will be the atmosphere great. Yes, as long as we let it happen. So the only way you can calm down an atmosphere is always with your own football. So otherwise, uh, you you play just coming from everywhere, pretty much. So we have to play a really good game. But that's fair. Imagine we, we wouldn't have to play a good game to win it against Sheffield United, but it's Premier League, it's not possible. So they will be really going for it, I'm 100% sure. And we will as well.
I'm 100 percent sure about that. And that's the only thing I can have really influence in. The rest we will see. Uh, but the better we play, the more difficult it will be for Sheffield. And that's that's the job we have to do. Yeah, right up there. Huh? So that's 100%. Uh, um, um, I play with his numbers. I'm not sure I will ever coach again. So that, that's how it is. So that's just the way it is. His whole development from the first talk we had to, to, the, to the talks we have now as a, as a man is, is, um, is an incredible and very impressive development and growth and as a player as well. So um, absolutely exceptional player, all-time great, shadow of a doubt. Um, I was blessed to have a few good ones, to be honest. But um, you know, as I said, he's right up there, and the numbers are, are super special. Welcome.